In tonight's Healthier Me, Walmart is trying to position itself as a place for retail health care. The company announcing it will hold health fairs at more than 4,400 stores nationwide this Saturday. Customers will be able to receive fl free blood pressure and blood glucose readings. Flu shots and other vaccines will also be available. Nearly 2,500 stores will also offer help navigating the health care insurance exchanges during an enrollment period that begins October 15th and will run through the end of January. Public health experts say hospitals are improving the way they support breastfeeding mothers, but more does need to be done. A new report from the CDC finds an increasing number of U.S. hospitals have adopted practices aimed at helping new moms start and continue breastfeeding. Those baby-friendly steps include lactation education, having babies' rooms with their moms, and limiting pacifiers and supplemental formula. More than half of U.S. hospitals had adopted a majority of baby-friendly steps in 2013, up from less than a third in 2007. Really, the baby-friendly steps are all important. They're all evidence-based. Science shows that these increase the likelihood that women will start and continue breastfeeding. That's why it's encouraging that more hospitals are allowing their uh, mothers with infants to room in, that they're reducing artificial pacifiers, and that they're reducing the use of formula and other supplemental feedings. Because if that's not medically necessary, it shouldn't be done. It will reduce the likelihood that the baby gets the best nutrition. A hospital must adopt all 10 practices to be designated baby friendly. Just 14% of American babies are born in hospitals that have met all that criteria. Later in sports, another high school season comes to an end. Who's crowned a champion in North Dakota girls golf? And in Consumer Reports, we're putting toilet paper to the test. We'll find out which rolls give you the most bang for your buck.